Hey, welcome to this edition of Thrive. As always, I hope it finds you well and know that I really do appreciate you giving me this opportunity to uh, hopefully encourage, inspire, and perhaps even challenge you as you seek to be all that you can be. And I, and I say the word challenge because, um, you know, I can't help but think that uh, we need to challenge ourselves a little as we respond to what is happening around the world at the moment. You know, what initially was a protest against the senseless killing of a, of a black man that reflected systemic racism, uh, abuse of power, and, and all sorts of other things, has now taken on a life of its own and spawned a protest movement around the world that is challenging uh, the status quo of, of so many societies and, and calling us uh, or calling into question our, our histories and uh, how we should view history, how we should view ourselves in the light of that and the implications going forward. And I, I'm, not, I'm not wanting to get into that whole debate, but, but here's what I've observed is that that as that has been unfolding, it's pushed buttons in people, as you would expect. And what I've, what I've noticed is that every time someone's button gets pushed, the natural tendency is to rationalise the response. Uh, I'm, I don't know, but I'm guessing if you were to look in a dictionary, you'd, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing a, a definition of rational of, of um, rationalise would be something along the lines of... Um, an attempt to justify or to explain a behaviour or, or, or an attitude or a response, um, something along those lines. And the reason I say that is we all do it, don't we? We all attempt to rationalise, to explain, to defend, uh, to justify how we feel um, when, when our button is pushed. But I think that if we want to move beyond what we're experiencing at the moment, if we want to move beyond this whole polarizing of, of positions, and if we want to engage and, and help be part of a conversation that, that, to be fair, can't take place because there's too much heat at the moment, but a conversation that needs to take place, um, I think we need to, to step back and recognize uh, the unhelpful dynamic of rationalization. You see, in the process of rationalizing, what you're doing is you're actually telling yourself a rational lie. That's what rationalize is, in my view. We are telling ourselves a rational lie. What we're really doing is we are, we are defending our perspective. We're saying our perspective is right. We're saying our response is justified. We're saying how we feel is valid. Uh, we're saying that we are, we are justifying, we are telling ourselves um, some, some lies to, in order to um, validate our response. And, and the reason I say that is that um, there's nothing wrong with, with having feelings, there's nothing wrong with, with having positions. I'm not saying your position is wrong, I'm not saying that your belief about history, about what's happening uh, is wrong. But what I am saying is that when we try to, um, to justify that and not engage with it, then it becomes a lie. Because there's no question that we can all look at the same thing and have different perspectives. And it's only as we learn to hear one another's perspectives that we can find a, a meaningful and, and truthful way forward. Uh, using that uh, example of, the, of rewriting history that that is happening around the world where people are trying to pull down statues that commemorate particular events in a particular time and a particular context of history. Um, I, I, just, I just don't think it's helpful. You know, it, it doesn't change what was and it doesn't change what is. You see, the, what's going to change um, our future is not rewriting the past, but allowing ourselves to hear one another, uh, to, ex to take on board the perspectives of one another so that we can flesh out a, um, a more comprehensive picture of what has been, what has brought us to this point and where we want to go and why, so that together we can go forward. But as I say, for that to happen, we have to stop justifying. Uh, and it's, it's a, a, everybody, not just those who are anti or those who are pro, but we all need to stop justifying our, our 
our beliefs and our positions in response to one another and say, okay, so I understand or I recognise that your view of history, your experience of history has been this. Um, and I, and, and it's, it's foreign to me because this has been mine. Let's talk about it and see where, what we can learn together from that. And, and I think that's missing in the debate at the moment. And, and, I, and until we're in a position to do that, uh, I don't think we can make any progress. But the reason I raise it is I want to challenge you to start with yourself. Um, to start examining your own responses and where they come from and why. And starts to prepare yourself for the conversations that need to take place. So that when they do, um, there's less heat in them and there's, we're able to build and to, to go forward in a, in a more constructive way. So uh, that's, that's my, my, my challenge. That's, those are my thoughts. I, I hope it's helpful for you and I look forward to hearing your response. Until next time, God bless.